All right, so we are here at Savannah's EP launch. Pretty great night, awesome night for me. I'm happy that I managed to soak up every bit of it. And uh, we'll be exchanging a few words with the songstress herself for LimeandTune.com. All right, Savannah, awesome night. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome night. And um, you really hit it off tonight, I think, with you the think crowd. So? It was a, a pretty relaxed atmosphere. An intimate, and, right? Yeah, yeah and um, it must be a great feeling. So. Oh, my goodness. It feels, it always feels really good to have that energy pushed back to you, you know, so it's a bit overwhelming. It can really, like, cause you to stumble if you're not really familiar, which is how I was at first. But no, it's just something I really, really love and just take in, you know? Yeah, and, and this is a milestone, I know. Yeah, no, because, I mean, just, I mean, I'm sure you've had, like, a goal that you've accomplished, and just the feeling of how much more valuable you feel, like, as a person, like, as a human, it's, it's, in, it's really intense. And then for it to be doing so well already. Already? You know, I don't want to be, like, be plugging, you know, but... Like, yeah, but number nine is, is not bad. It's unbelievable. Number nine on the like for me, like yeah, it's still. I'm still trying to make it. It's still sinking in. Yeah, just just say it back to yourself one more time. Number nine on the UK reggae charts. Yeah. Yeah. The EP is number nine yeah. on the UK reggae charts. Yeah, like I did that. I yes, that. of course. I did yes. <laughs> so, yeah, man, affirmation and and it was a a nice outpour of support too tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of industry veterans, and but most of all, we saw that whole movement behind it. You know, it, it looked like more than a who is who. It looked like a genuine circle of supporters. Right, right, right. And that means a lot because it means that people are, you know, interested. You know. Yeah, and then more so though, you are stepping out as a performer and I think even in a setting like this if you just manage to capture one heart it's such a big deal because yeah. they will always remember exactly. they'll always remember and um, so how do you want the rest of the industry right now to receive this EP I mean I don't really I don't really have like a specific way I want them to receive it I just want them to hear it and just Hopefully it means something to them, you know. Hopefully them can listen to one of the songs that it really touches them. And there's puts them in a good vibe, or it helps them to maybe cry. Yeah, like kind of like hoping that there's something in it for everyone. Yeah, right. Just like that. Mm. And I just really like Carry You. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Carry You. Yes. Yes. It's actually my favorite. Oh, right. okay. Favorite. So now we know. Yeah. Now we know. I I'm I'm still at a bit too shy because that was my first proper introduction. I had actually heard you perform live a couple of times, but when I heard that blasting through yeah. on Ari FM, I'm like, okay, radio has changed. All yeah. right, cool. <laughs> that was no, no. Ari FM really like um, welcomed me, mm -hmm. Mama Elise. Like I did an interview with her, and I don't know. I didn't. I did. I, I wasn't sure. Not that I was worried, though. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I feel like whoever connects will connect. Exactly. You know what I mean? But to have that being played on radio with the sound that it has, which is it's not exactly, which is super which is typical. why which is why I say that it was a yeah. bit of a landmark for me. Like yeah. I just used that to say, okay, now Jamaican radio is readying itself again for another movement. Yeah, you know, because reggae has always borrowed so heavily from R and B and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's nice to see that being fused so seamlessly you know thank so thank you thank you of course i couldn't do it without winter right no, and then it was that it was initially protege's beat like it was it came from gregor Isaac's song you know that yes yes, yes. It's coming from there so and and, and i and i like that throwback feel that it has yeah. i like that and that's I, actually my favorite kind of reggae sound the yeah, old, man. Old, yeah man we don't reggae. sleep on lovers rock at yeah, all man. we don't sleep on lovers rock so um, I I trust that you're definitely satisfied with all the traction that you've been receiving. Definitely. You know, you're getting some pretty decent shout outs. Yeah. You're not you're not going on too bad. You know, <laughs> like you 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 stay on our play playlist and definitely as a DJ, I have to say, yeah, it's it's just a welcome welcome move. Um, congrats on the EP Thank and you. Um, all the best. And Thank you so much. And yeah, all man. the best as well. And yeah, man. congrats again and um, and hats off to your producer too and. Yeah, and give thanks to Protege because I think for most of us that was our introduction to Savannah right. through yeah. Proto. Yeah, so yeah man, hats off, hats yeah. off and Yeah, big up Protege, Winter, Miss Bennett, Jamila, Claire, Rachel, everybody. Everybody. Like, my mother, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> everybody. 
All right, thank you so much, sis. You're welcome. All right. I chanted from the east end to the west end. Me I run got a love for any I chanted to the north end. All the oceans. Me I run got a love for Big up to Lime and Tune. I said Sankova. Thank you. Bye. Lime and Tune. Lime and Tune.